I'm actually going to start this whole thing over. Chapter two, what is counseling? Client counseling in our real estate industry refers to a comprehensive and consultive approach employed by a lot of real estate professionals like you and I to understand, guide, and support the client throughout the entire process of buying, selling, or investing. It goes well beyond the traditional transactional interactions. It emphasizes clear communication, empathy, and the collaboration between you and the client to ensure that the client has an informed decision that is aligned with their goals and preferences. So here are some of the key elements that would go into this. Understanding the client's needs, right? Client counseling involves a deep understanding of their unique needs, their preferences, and the goals of the client. This understanding forms the basis or the foundation that you will build upon and tailor your real estate services to meet each client's individual requirements. All right. So somebody else's uh, needs are going to be different than client B's needs. And you have to help get to those so that that client can make that decision. Number two would be communication and active listening. Effective communication is the cornerstone for counseling. All right. Real estate professionals engage in active listening to comprehend their client's concerns, to address their questions, and to foster a transparent and open dialogue throughout the real estate transaction. So counseling is not just telling somebody what to think. It involves communication and communication has two parts, speaking and listening. So you have to understand that you have to speak well and you must actively listening. It's like trying to talk to one of your children who are playing on the phone and they never understand what you're saying or don't hear what you're saying because they're not actively listening. The third one would be education and information. Part of your counseling includes providing clients with the necessary information and education to make a well-informed decision for them. This encompasses explaining all of the various scenarios, market trends, legal considerations, financial options, and any other aspect that is specific to that real estate process. Negotiation and conflict resolution. We as real estate professionals engage in client counseling all the time. You must possess negotiation skills to secure a favorable outcome for your client. Additionally, you are adept at handling conflicts that may arise during the transaction and ensure a smooth and mutual satisfactory resolution. That could be with your own client. How many of you out there have had issues with your own client? I have, all right? The fifth thing we'll talk about is building trust and credibility. Establishing trust and credibility is crucial in client counseling. Real estate professionals aim to create a relationship of trust with their clients by demonstrating integrity, ethics, honesty, and a commitment to your client's best interest. Now that should sound familiar because a lot of those are basically the 17 ethical canons of the NAR's code of ethics, all right? Another benefit of on why you, uh, or what counseling is, would be to provide personalized service. You guys can't have, oh, I've got a one size fits all speech that I give to all my uh, seller, so when they list, no, you can't. You can't adopt a one size fits all approach. Client counseling, true client counseling, emphasizes personal service. As a real estate professional, tailoring your strategies and recommendations, you got to make sure that they align with that unique client, their unique circumstances, 
and what they are seeking with their preferences. So it can't be one size fits all. Now, I guess, let me back up. Maybe you're dealing with the same client all the time. I'm dealing with a golf course buyer. Even then, it's not going to be the same. So that's a bad example. Um, another thing counseling is, is guidance. Guidance throughout the transaction. Client counseling extends from the initial consultation to the closing of the deal. It is guidance throughout the entire process. Professional guidance at every step ensures that the clients feel supported and informed. That is leading to an overall positive experience, which will lead to referrals and more business. Another thing that client counseling is, it's long-term relationship building. Beyond a single transaction, Client counseling involves building a long-term relation. Real estate professionals like you and I aim to become trusted advisors, all right? Not just, hey, here's the one deal. We want them to come back to us because we are a trusted advisor. And all of that previous seven things we've talked about is going to lead to repeat business and referrals throughout your career, career, all right? So remember, why you want to, or what counseling is, is basically these eight things that will lead to guide a client throughout the complexities of the process, empowering them to make the decisions that align with the goals while fostering the trust uh, and building a long-term relationship. That is the essence of what counseling is.